Assalamu alaikum. Welcome to Tajweed for Beginners. Lesson 4 Rules of Allah, Ra, Noon, and Meme Sakin. Inshallah, this is the final lesson for this series, and we'll be covering the remainder <coughs> of the necessary rules to read the Quran properly. The first rule we're going to cover is the rule of Allah. <coughs> if before the word Allah, there is a fatha or a dhamma then you read Allah full mouth or heavy <coughs> if before the word Allah there is a kasra then you read the word Allah empty mouth or light so examples of this <coughs> of the first one is qaf <coughs> okay, خَلَقُ اللَّهُ who? So, <coughs> to figure out if Allah is heavy or light, we look at the first lamb here. This lamb is empty, because this shadda and standing fatah is actually for the second lamb. So this lamb is empty. And, <coughs> so what we do is, we we'll, we we'll go back a letter. Now this alif is also empty, so we go back another letter. The qaf has something on top, and we know if it's fatha or dhamma, which are both on top, then Allah is full mouth or heavy. So it's pronounced khalaqallahu. If someone said khalaqallahu, then it, that would be incorrect. Now the example for the second one is. Okay. <coughs> Again, we look at this lamb. It's empty, so we look at the alif. The alif is also empty, so we go back one more letter. The ba has something on the bottom, and we know kasra is red, <coughs> empty mouth or light. So bilahi. If someone said bilahi, that would be incorrect. Now the rule of ra is similar to the rules of Allah. In that, if the rule of ra, uh, if the letter ra has a fatha or a dhamma, it is read heavy. Example, yafrahuna. And if someone said yafrahuna, that would be incorrect because the ra is heavy because of the fatha. If the ra is, has a kasra, it is read light, like anari. If someone said anari, okay, that would be incorrect, incorrect <coughs> because the ra is red light. Likewise, uh, as in the word Allah, if the ra is sakin, then you look at the letter before it. And if that letter is also sakin, then you go back even one more letter. The rules of meme and noon shadda. If meme or noon has a shadda, read it with ghunna. So basically here we have noon and meme, and they have the shadda is a W. So if you have that, then you read the ghunna. Ghunna is to read something nasally. <coughs> and you hold the ghunna for two harakas. If you don't remember what haraka is, refer to the first video on the Tajweed for Beginner series. <coughs> so right here, inni, inni, we're holding the noon for two harakas. That is ghunna. Moving on, meme sakin. Now the first rule is called idgham. Idgham basically means to put one letter into another. So, if you have a meme second followed by another meme, you put the first meme into the second meme. So, if we had okay, Hamza followed by meme second followed by meme, <coughs> we put this meme into that and we read with Ghunna. Right, the first one is with Ghunna. M. M. Again, we hold it for two harakas. The next one is called ikhfa. The, dif the difference between the ikhfa and the ghunna is that in the ikhfa, the tip of the tongue does not touch the top of the mouth. And also, in this particular ikhfa, the lips are brought very close, but they don't touch. They leave a s slight little gap, 
and the ulama of tajweed say it's as if you're holding a seed between your lips. So it would be amba, amba. Okay, so that's the difference between the idgham and the ikhfa of mim sakin. Moving on. Now the rules of noon sakin and tanween, there are four. The first is idhar. If after noon, okay, now we all, we should know what noon sakin is. It's basically just a noon with a second and tanween is any vowel that's doubled so doubled fatha doubled kasra and doubled dhamma okay that's tanween <coughs> if noon second or tanween is followed by any of these six letters hamza ha ain ha ain ha ghain kha read normally without ghunna the purpose of this rule is to memorize these six letters and you might remember them from the makhraj video Example is anamta. Now the first thing we look for is noon second or tanween. If we don't have noon second or tanween, there's no way that this rule can apply. So looking at this word we see we have noon second here. And then immediately after that there's a ain. So we know that ilhar applies because ain is one of the letters here. Okay? No gunna. Anamta. If someone said anamta, that would be incorrect. The next is the rules of noon second and tanween idgham. Again, we remember idgham is to put one letter into another. If noon second or tanween is followed by any of the letters ya ra mim lam waw noon, you can memorize the word yarumalun to memorize all the letters easily. Then idgham takes place, which is putting one letter into another. Now there's two types of idgham. There's idgham with ghunna and idgham without ghunna. So if we take now the f the letters without ghunna are the lam and the ra. Okay. So lam and the ra. Okay. Are no ghunna. No ghunna. <coughs> so let's look at the example. We have noon second. Right, because remember, the first thing you look for is noon second or tanween. If you don't have these, then there's no idgham. So we have noon second followed by ya. Is ya one of the letters in yaramalun? Yes, it's the first one. And is it idgham with ghunna or without ghunna? It's with ghunna because the only ones without ghunna are ra and lam. So we would say may yufsidu. So basically, we're putting the noon into the ya. It's disappearing, and we're doing it with ghunna for two harakas. May yufsidu. May yufsidu. Okay. Now, an example where ra or lam takes place without ghunna would be okay. Noon second followed by ra. Marra'a. Marra'a. We're putting the noon into the ra. It's disappearing. Marra'a. But there is no ghunna. Okay, noon second and tanween. The third rule is iqlab. If after noon second or tanween there is a ba, change the noon second or tanween into a mim and read with ghunna. Now it might sound a little bit complicated, but inshallah it's very easy. So again, the first thing we look for is noon second or tanween. In this example, we have noon second. The noon second will change the will change into a mim, and you read it with ghunna. If followed by ba. So noon second becomes a meme. And in the Quran, actually, some places you can see a small little meme, right, that's written on top. And that's this rule. Okay? So instead of the noon, we actually read it as meme second. Meme ba'di. Now we know the rule meme second followed by ba. In the rules of meme second, if you go back. Uh, earlier in the video okay it's the one where the seed you know you you bring your lips close they don't touch that's this rule okay, moving on noon <coughs> second and tanween the final rule 
Okay. Now, if afternoon, Sakin or Tanween, you have any letter besides the ones we've already covered, which are the letters of Idhar, Hamzaha, Ainha, Ainha, the letters of Idgham, Yarmalun, Ba, right? Then read with Ikhfa. Okay? If it's so, if there's a letter, afternoon, Sakin or Tanween, that's not in one of the letters that we've already covered then that letter is a letter of ikhfa and remember ikhfa is where the tip of the tongue does not touch the top of the mouth okay so <laughs> looking here nun sakin followed by kaf is kaf in the letters of idhar hamzaha ainha ghain kha no it's not is kaf in the letters of idgham yarmalun no is kaf in the letter ba nope so we read with ikhfa kuntum. Here we actually have two. No one's second followed by ta because ta is not in the letters of idhar, it's not in the letters of idgham, and it's not ba. So we also read that with ikhfa. kuntum. And the ikhfa is also held for two harakas. <coughs> now the final rule of this lesson, qalqala. When you see any of the five letters, qaf, ta, ba, jim, dal, okay? and they have second on it then you bounce the letter okay and the w you can memorize the word qutubu jaddin uh, to memorize all the letters uh, together easily qutubu jaddin qaf ta ba jim dal the example is ba ba has second right the condition is that it should be second so we say sub subhanaka and not subhanaka we say sub Subhanaka. We bounce on the ba, and that concludes. Well, that concludes the theoretical part of this uh, lesson. Inshallah, now we'll practice uh, on, in the Quran. Okay. So this is starting from thirty-eight of Al-Baqarah, verse thirty-eight of Al-Baqarah. So whenever we come to a rule that we covered inshallah I'll point it out قُلْ نَهْبِطُوا مِنْ so basically anytime there's a noon second okay let me write this out anytime there's a noon second okay anytime there's a meme second anytime there's a um ra Anytime there is the word Allah. Okay. Anytime there is. Um, Ra, Allah, mean second. Noon or meme with a shadda, the W. Then inshallah, it will be one of the rules that we've covered. So, Oh, and, and if there's tanween, right? Because noon, second, and tanween. Double and double kasra and double dhamma. So. <coughs> Here we have noon second followed by ha. Which rule is that? Now we, again noon second or tanween followed by ha. And you should remember it's the first rule, idhar, which means no gunna. Because noon second followed by ha. Hamza ha ain ha ghain kha. Right? Result in no gunna. So min ha, min ha, not min ha. Minha jamia. Okay. Jamia. Now, if we stop here, there is no rule. But if we connect, then there is a rule because there's tanween followed by fa. The alif here we ignore. Anytime you have a tanween, uh, anytime you have a double fatha, you always have an alif. It's just part of the script, but you should ignore it. Mm, look at the next letter. Fa. Now, tanween followed by fa. What rule is that? Is it from the letters of idhar? Hamza ha ain ha ghain kha? No, there's no fa there. Is it from the letters of idgham? Yarmalun? No, there's no fa there. Is it from ba? Nope. Fa is not ba. So we know it's ikhfa. Okay, so jami'a fa imma. Okay, jami'a fa imma. Again, another rule, meme with a shadda. So we know we do ghunna for two harakas. The imma 
يأتين أجنون هذا الشدة ودغنا يأتينكم okay ميم ساكن followed by ميم we know we put this ميم into that ميم ودغنا and the ميم already has a شدة to tell us that we have to دغنا here يأتينكم من نون هذا شدة مني هدى هدى تنوين فال باي فاء the ياء is empty so we ignore it تنوين فال باي فاء so we already covered it هدى فما نون ساكن فال باي تاء it's also إخفاء فما تبع هدى يا فلا خوف تنوين فال باي عين okay تنوين is one of the things we have to be cautious of so what rule is that تنوين فال باي عين همزة ها عين ح غين خا we know it's إظهار so no غنا فلا خوف عليهم now we have ميم ساكن فال باي واو we only covered ميم ساكن فال باي ميم and ميم ساكن فال باي باء so you can ignore ميم ساكن فال باي any other letter عليهم ولا هم يحزنون والذين كفروا وكذبوا بآياتنا أولئك أصحاب أجنون ولا شدة أصحاب النار okay now if we stop here the ra loses its kasra so it becomes sakin okay so that's why the ra will actually be pronounced heavy instead of light because if the ra has a sakin then we look at the alif the alif is empty also so we look at the noon the noon has something on top hence the ra is heavy but if we were to continue then the ra would be light يا بني إسرائيل اذكروا نعمتي التي أنعمت نون ساكن فال باي عين we know from actually it was one of our examples that it's إظهار أنعمت عليكم وأوفوا بعهدي when you stretch it four or five because of Hamza بعهدي أوفي بعهدكم وإياي فرهبون now one thing my teacher did for me which helped a lot is that first of all don't use a Tajweed Quran okay that's like training wheels so do your best to use a non tajweed color coded Quran don't use one okay and you need to get rid of the training wheels so my teacher made me create my own symbols okay and um, to mark up the page before I recited to him with the tajweed rules so for example ikhfa or sorry idhar would be an X Okay, Idhar would be an X, and uh, Idgham would be a circle, uh, or Ghunna, Mima Nun Shadda would also be a circle, uh, Iqlab would also be, it would actually be a square, and uh, Ikhfa would also be a square, and Qalqala would be a carrot, um, and I would go through and mark up the page and it forced me to continually go back to the rule, look at the letter and come back and it's really really helpful and actually for the mud what you can do is for the mud tabi'i just draw a small little 2 on top and for the other ones you can draw either a 4 if it's a 4 to 5 or a 6 if it's a mud lazim okay? try to do that and then listen to a sheikh online like sheikh husari and see if you get it right if he does ghunna and you missed a place then you can uh, go back to the video and see why you might have missed that. Okay, continuing from here. وَآمِنُوا بِمَا أَنْ second followed by Zay. Zay is not in any of the letters in the first three rules, so we know it's إِخْفَى أَنْزَلْتُ 
مصدق ال now تنوين followed by لام now لام is one of the letters of يرملون which is إدغام which means you put one letter into the other and but there is no غنة because remember لام and را there is no غنة so we say مصدق ال we don't say مصدق ال مصدق ال لما معكم ولا تكونوا أول كافر به تنوين followed by ب see look they changed the تنوين into a ميم and you read it with يخفى كافر به ولا تشترون ولا تشتروا بآياتي ثمنا قليلا okay, again اخفى ثمنا قليلا وإياي فاتقون إن شاء الله that will conclude this lesson جزاك الله خير for watching سلام عليكم